Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. I have brought on a little girl who hasn't been on my channel in a while. I'll just take her soother out for a moment. This is the Twilight Sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles and I am Mel from Melamory Nursery. Welcome everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I'll give her a soother back for a second. As you can see, this little girl is still in a snowsuit. She looks so cute, so bundled up. And her name is Aubrey Rose. And today is Tiny Reborn Tuesday. It is also uh, Teddy Bear Tuesday. And uh, hashtag Teddy Bear Tuesday is hosted by My Sweet Cupcake. And Tiny Reborn Tuesday is hosted by myself. So I want to welcome you all. I hope that you enjoy today's change in chat with this little girl. And... Um, Right on her little sleep suit here is Bears, uh, and she's got a little Winnie the Pooh pacifier, and I don't know if you could see the bears on her or not with this uh, snowsuit, but there's quite a few on there. They're just sort of like outlines of bears. And I really, really think she looks so super cute in here. Oh, there's some bears that are on the inside part as well. And I've got her in some gloves and booties. And she is 18 inches long and weighs five pounds and was reborn by Jen at Inspired by Babies. So I think we've covered all her details. So today I'm just going to dress her in a little outfit. She is as you can see in a snowsuit and as I'm talking I'll just start taking off her little gloves so you can see her fingers and we'll remove her little pacifier she's got a little a faint um, smile going on there which could be like almost like gas in a little newborn and we'll take off these slippers, which I love, because she's got a sleeper underneath. So I'll be probably putting these slippers back on her. I just love them. Just love them. So yeah, today, wow. Um, I am waiting now on the call for my daughter to tell me how big her baby boy was. So he's been born, everybody. Um, she went into labor. Uh, well, she was in slow labor from Friday and then they let that go for three days. Here, anyway, where I live, I don't know about uh, anywhere else. But they let that go for three days and if uh, she doesn't go, if, if the mama doesn't go into full labor, after the three days, then they, they break the water. Well, my daughter went into full on labor at 2 a.m. on the third day. So, yeah. And uh, I imagine right now they're resting. Oh, your little hat. Look at you. You look like a little chef. Um, Aubrey Rose has nicknames. Rosie and Rosa Baby. And she's so sweet. Look at her. Aw. Um, this snowsuit is little star zero to three months. I absolutely adore this little sleep suit. Look at that. It's all padded. Um, it was too big for her. Um, because she is only in 18 inches, but she's like, She's got bends in her knees and bends in her elbows. And this is a three-quarter sleeve sleeper, so I left her onesie on. And this has a zip with these, um, I forget what they call them, um, these kind of closures. I, I really enjoy them, actually, but for some reason, of course, you know. 
my mind is elsewhere. So yeah, that's the little sleep suit there for the snow suit. And um, the top can come off with buttons even. So it's really a beautiful piece. So I will remove that. It's time to pack all of these uh, snow suits up. And most of the little ones have gotten theirs off. So yeah, she's, she's weensy, isn't she? And look at her hand. It just poses so, so beautifully. Yeah. So other news on the front is, I think I was telling you that my vehicle um, was dead in my driveway and I had been waiting for a while for what they call floating appointments here at the dealership and I waited a long time. So yesterday the tow truck came and took it to the dealership. So I don't know what that's all going to cost me or what the problem is. I know that whatever it was, um, I'll just remove her hat and you can see her beautiful rooted red hair, which I will style up. She's got a lot of red features to her. Beautiful rooting. Um, where was I? Yeah, so I don't, I don't have any idea of how long my vehicle will be in the dealership for getting repaired or even the cost of that. All I know is that it was a brand new battery in the vehicle and then it had been having uh, ignition problems, but they, because they couldn't duplicate it when I first took it in. Well, I'd taken it in a number of times um, last year before my surgery and uh, they couldn't duplicate the problem once I got it to the dealership every single time until it finally completely conked out. And then by that point, um, there was no room at the dealership. Winter had come on early and everybody had booked up appointments to winterize their vehicle. So there was a long, long wait. So in the meantime, it was just sitting and then uh, the battery died at some point and the fob keys wouldn't work. So I had to remove, um, figure out how the fob key turned into a real key. <laughs> and I know that sounds like a funny thing, but um, I'd never thought of using the real key before. And there's only one keyhole, which was in the driver's door. And let me just stop here for a moment. Uh, this is a Little Me Preemie set with the hat. It was a two-piece set. Really pretty. So, um, yeah, so I have no idea. I know now both the fob keys have to be reset and a new battery has to go into it. And so I'm waiting for the call from the dealership for that. We're going to get this right off for her as well because I'll show you what I'm going to dress her in. This um, white onesie with pink polka dots and baby pink trim along the collar and down around the legs. This is this is Little nutmeg. It's first. Oh, it's tiny baby. So this will fit her nice. Then I have just some faded glory newborn um, pink cozy pants and a little duck pink tiny baby special little one knit sweater and some socks tiny little socks and like I said I'll put her booties back on and then she has this gorgeous color head bow to tie the whole thing in yeah so um and this little uh long sleeve onesie says love you and it's got the mama hippopotamus and the baby hippopotamus and it's like a white 
long sleeve onesie with the built-in cuffs and pink and darker pink stripes with the darkest pink of all hippopotamuses. There's a little greeny yellow heart and I love using green. So these are all really flattering colors for a little redhead baby. So I will remove this right down to our little construction and you guys get to see her in her glory. Um, so yeah, so I'm waiting for the call on that um, estimate of my vehicle as well today. And um, my daughter, my youngest daughter has just left. So what time is it now? So it's just 6.30 now. So she left to go catch the ferry because she is going to a concert tonight and also seeing more apartments because folks know she never got that first apartment. Um, so she's got to go check out some more apartments. This is a baby bagosh newborn um, onesie set and that fit her really well. So this this one I'm going to put on her now should be really good and snug. And I think this diaper is still really, still really okay. Yeah. So I think this um, body is actually signed too by Laura Lee Eagles. Yeah, it is. Turn over, little girl. So Laura Eagle, Eagles with the heart. Let me just get her up so you guys can see that. Come here, darling. Right there. So her sculptor signed her body, which I think is really neat. And uh, she's pretty floppy. She's pretty floppy and really tiny. Look at her. She folds right up into this little little melon ball. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, so my daughter had to catch the early um, ferry, which meant she had to get there. And we had gone there uh, nine days ago on a Sunday. And so she'll be there overnight and checking out apartments and um, going to her concert. She's staying at a youth hostel. Um, and there's plenty of them over there in the city. So she's quite excited. She has friends over there, which is lovely too, but, uh, her friends don't have, um, extra bedrooms or places like that. So, and she just preferred to sleep, um, in a hostel, renting a room at a hostel. So that's what she's doing. So yeah, a busy day for everybody. And I have appointments today, this morning. And sounds busy, sounds busy. But as long as it's a consistent busy, I don't mind so much. Come here, darling. I'm always so torn with her, whether I call her little Aubrey or Rosie or it's, it's a hard call for me. Part of me really wants to call her Rosie, but I love the name Aubrey Rose as well. So, um, and she looks so good in white and pinks, but she would look lovely in like, like the greens and yellows too, because of her hair. But I'll just get her all set up here. So how are you guys' Tuesday going? I know many people have their children off on spring break or home from university or just going back to university if spring break has finished. It's different everywhere. Oh, she looks so cute, just in a white little onesie. And um, I just want to do her hair real quick. Just got some mohair conditioner and a toothbrush here. I really ought to change this toothbrush out for a different style. 
And um, this mohair conditioner was sent with one of Tracy's babies. So come here, little girl. Let's get your hair going. She's got beautiful, beautiful hair. Jen, let me pick the color. I remember seeing this sculpt and wanting it. <laughs> it's funny how that works, doesn't it? Um, but then, you know, I haven't really spent a whole lot of time with her. Um, just going to spray right on her hair. I think that would be easier. Where is the face cloth? I don't want anything on her face. I don't want it to hit any of her paint. I think that's good enough. Hey, Lou, little girl. So yeah, on Tuesdays, I always joke and say I'm a week older on Tuesdays. <laughs> I was born on a Tuesday. So... My mind is sort of filled with what baby looks like, a new baby, and how my oldest daughter is faring. Um, they're really private people, my oldest daughter. And, um, and so there won't be any photos posted up on, on my channel about baby um, at all, folks. It just, my, my kids need to give me permission for things like that. So I know a lot of people might be curious, but um, let's turn her over a little bit, little girl. Get the back of her hair. Yeah, I love the color of this red. Let's use a brush. It's a beautiful hairstyle. See what I mean? And if she puts her hand up, I mean, she looks really... <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at her little feet. Can you guys see her okay? Let me just try to get the camera a little focused. I wanted to show you the bears I have back here as well. So for my sweet cupcakes tag, um, Teddy Bear Tuesday, there's a love bear. Here is Lammy, which is prayer bear. We've got blue bear and I don't know what I'm gonna call this bear. If you have an idea, please leave it in the comments below. It's very antique looking, this bear here. And it's holding a bear of its own in a night dress and a night uh, hat. And so, Miss Aubrey, let's flip you back over, little girl. Oh. Let's flip you back over. What have we done with your hair? Looked good that other way, didn't it? Yeah, so let's get you dressed. We'll start with your pants. Start with your pants, little girl. This undershirt onesie is really sweet on her. But because, like I said, of her bent legs being 18 inches, if you count those bent legs, it really, um, she needs longer pants, which is why she's got newborn pants here. And I like the clothes to be a little bit loose and not so snug. Um, it's hard sometimes to find certain clothes where I live, but I prefer certain things a certain way with a certain doll or baby doll or whatever. Each one is different though. These seem to suit her just fine. 
You're covering your face up, little one. In fact, I don't even think I want to. Yeah, see, this one's starting to pull apart here. Yeah, see, I thought I'd have to fold up the legs, but it doesn't look like it. Where are your socks, little one? These are just little anklet socks. Nothing frilly or special about these socks because she's going to have some little booties on for warm. So yeah, it, it will be a busier day for me. Well, it's always busy, folks. Like You know this by now. If you're a continued watcher of my channel, you know Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are really quite busy. I have appointments and things going on. Look at these little booties back on. I just love them. Just love them. And they suit her really, really well. Look at that. So yeah, that's the exciting news in my world. All my children are doing um, very well. Um, my grandson has got glasses now. That's also new. Um, and he looks like when my daughter sent me the photo of him, I thought he was dressed up as Harry Potter, honestly. And I thought it was just him doing like a costume day because he's into, he's into certain, um, styles of clothing. And I thought he was like dressed up as Harry Potter. And when I, when I messaged my daughter back, she kind of, she phoned me up and she started laughing. She said, no, she says, that's how, how he's dressing nowadays, mom. Like, so I was like, oh, that's new since I've seen him. And she said, yeah, you know how they are. Like, he's almost nine. So, you know, he's just got a, a concept now of what they like. But, you know, I think back to when I was nine and I didn't have any concept whatsoever of what I wanted to be. None. I just wore what clothes I had. Well, that looks really sweet. A little sweater open and this little duck. Can you see her? It's hard for me to see into the camera and her at the same time. Where's your head going, little girl? Let's get her little hair bow in. Okay, sweet pea. Now she has a really large forehead, this sculpt. So um, it's nice to break it up with a little headband. Oh. Or should I move it over? Keep it on the top. And I think we'll leave her hands free this time and not put the mitts on. But she does have this pacifier with the Winnie the Pooh on it. And she has Darren's little bear with her too. So there's Aubrey Rose, everybody. And Tiny Reborn Tuesday, as you can tell, she's really sleepy. The light's getting in her eyes. I love how this sculpt can be really expressive because of her hands. Especially that one there. She's beautiful, absolutely beautiful little girl. Your little outfit and those little booties. This bear, like, it's a tiny bear, folks. Look how tiny. And yet, on her, it looks like such a big bear. Let's get you snuggled in, little girl. Aw. So there she is, everybody. This is a Twyla sculpt from Laura Lee Eagles. And I pray each and every one of you has a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed Tuesday. Remember, folks, we are perfectly imperfect. You are loved, wanted, and needed far, far more than you will ever know. And I will see you next time.
Bye for now, everyone.